Well, this couple says they capture orbs on their waist cam every night. This capture is beyond that. Published by Larissa Dorsey in December of 2018, the couple decided to live stream after their ceiling fan started spinning while completely turned off. After a moment, something unidentifiable flies into view, causing Larissa to freak out. What is this thing? Some in the comments claim to have captured the exact same figure on camera, which seems to give this video some veracity. Others think it's just a reflection of light or a camera flaw. Do you have any idea what this might be? <laughs> These tourists left with a souvenir they didn't want. Published by Mystic House slash Horror Stories, this scary video was reportedly captured at a popular tourist attraction in Indonesia. Amongst the brambles on a jungle path, a creepy creature is spotted peering out from behind a stone. The humanoid-looking creature's head is adorned with strange ram-like horns. Its skin is a dull gray, its eyes heavily shadowed. Is this just a local having fun with the tourists? Or is this evidence of an unknown species lurking in the wilderness? Outdoorsmen beware, this scary video will put you off camping. Published in April of 2020, Noah Stieg writes, I thought no one was around when I decided to pull over into a deserted road along the woods, but it turned into the scariest night of my life. Noah explains that someone tried to creep into his truck while he was sleeping there, and he captured some GoPro footage of the incident. In the video, which shows the pitch black darkness around him, only his voice is heard. He says someone has been walking around his vehicle for some 20 minutes, and he doesn't know what to do. He's been walking around for like 20 minutes already. Um, my my cap. I don't really know what to do. I'm a little freaked out right now. Noah is unarmed, and it's 2 a.m. You can hear the man's footsteps as Noah whispers into the GoPro. At one point, the man touches his truck. After walking around the truck, you can hear the man knocking. How am I supposed to get him away? He's literally, he's literally knocking. How am I supposed to get him away? The man does this repeatedly. Noah is completely freaked out. At around 2.30, Noah notes that the man is still walking around. He flashes his light out the window and it seems to scare the man off. You can hear the sound of footsteps running away. The next day, you can see the man's handprints and scratches all along the truck's rear window and around the truck as he had tried to get in. Many in the comments note that the scariest thing is that a man was walking around in the darkness with no flashlight. Others say the man might have been targeting parked cars where there was no surveillance and perhaps he was knocking to see if a car alarm would go off. But commenter Derek Falowski sums it up nicely, writing, The most dangerous predator out camping is your fellow human being. I totally agree. Stay safe out there. The Haunted Side is a ghost hunting channel in Reno, Nevada, led by Patrick McCreary, a paranormal investigator who has been experiencing ghost sightings since the age of nine, and he likes exploring abandoned places where something has gone wrong in the past. Tonight, he and his fellow ghost hunter, Jason Spencer, will explore the Truckee House, a creepy and cursed place haunted by the spirits of a mother, father, and three children ever since they were slain by a random madman sometime in the 1940s. Within minutes, the haunted side detects supernatural activity on their equipment. The paranormal energy is so strong that the ghost family can finish his sentence. We don't mean you any harm. If somebody came in here and, and hurt my throat, you hear that? Yeah. A weak and weary ghost voice must belong to the father. 
His EVP responses always make sense, like here when they ask him to read some graffiti on the wall. What does that say? Can you tell us what that says? Creepy. On the top floor is a small rotten room that is mostly withered away from the elements. The scary disembodied voice of the father follows, hopeless as ever as it advises them not to walk across the weak floor. Be very careful. Is this safe for me to do this? <laughs> no. They walk around the perimeter of the house instead for more paranormal evidence, and sure enough, the two explorers hear more possible ghost noises. Did you hear that? The ghost hunter is understandably a little too creeped out to talk. A young sounding, um, like almost cry. Like, ah, but like young. But in other words, it's a little ghost girl crying from the nearby haunted woods. Did you hear that? A few minutes later, they record this ghost sighting on video as the hand of a child pulls away from them at the last moment, a hand that's reaching out from the basement window. Although this could be the tale of a rat as it scurries away. With that said, some people claim to see a scary face looking not too far from where the ghost hand was sighted. I think I see it. But then again, it kind of looks like a rock in the grass, so who knows? The exploration continues inside. Their paranormal tracking equipment is able to pick out the wireframe of Jason, which proves it works, and then it detects a second mysterious figure pressed up against a support column, like it's hiding from them. Soon, the scary moment goes from a ghost sighting to actual paranormal contact. The part right now huh? is this floor. Yeah, you can are see you? into the basement. Are you down in the basement? Both ghost sightings cease when Jason can no longer take the cold and has to walk away. The question is whether or not this was a friendly gesture or a more serious encounter, maybe even an attempt at demonic possession. While this ghost hunter explored a cathedral, he was met with something unexpected, the devil. Ghost hunter Red Fox set up a Ouija board inside this haunted cathedral and soon felt like he was being watched. And not only watch, but something is clearly present. Watch the playback, nothing is in the hallway from where the sound was coming from. And then that nothing is coming straight at him. The playback again shows nothing there. Until the big reveal. The playback reveals all areas of the cathedral on camera while this occurred. Later, the ghost hunter discovers his Ouija board has been misplaced. Looks like the devil has left the chat. Huh? 
YouTuber Stavanka, also known as Stephanie from 90 Day Fiance, is certainly no stranger to having bizarre moments caught on camera, but nothing could have prepared her for a creepy surprise like this. I don't really talk about paranormal stuff on my channel. The reality TV star thinks she could have possibly caught real evidence of a paranormal ghost sighting on her home CCTV system. Let's analyze the events and see if this spooky encounter is real or fake. One night, while entertaining her family, Stavanka casually opens up the security app to check her CCTV cameras. That's when she discovers some mysterious activity going on in front of her house. Eventually, it dawns on me like, that's the figure of a person. Within 10 seconds, the bizarre figure seems to transform into a solid white, ghostly floating form. Stavanka herself alternates between believing and not believing the activity is paranormal. I don't want to get anything wrong. So these are her exact words at 6 minutes and 10 seconds. I think it's a ghost. Everyone I've talked to, everyone I've showed it to, even skeptics are like, that's a ghost. So she thinks it's probably paranormal, which is fair, but I do have a theory. The porch light and the lamp post are reflecting light back into the camera, which could create this bizarre effect in the middle. But with that said, Stavanka has tried to recreate this scary moment many times, and she has a legitimate question. Maybe it was a, a glitch, but then like if it was a glitch, then why did it stop? Like why did it only happen that one night? I can't say for sure, but I suspect that one of the lights was out when she tried this again. I think both of the lights have to be on at the same time for this bizarre occurrence to happen. But if she did replicate this under the exact same lighting conditions and saw nothing, then it would prove that this is a mysterious figure caught on tape after all. Our loved ones never leave us. These photographs are proof. Posted to the ghosts subreddit, S. Casey writes, My mother-in-law sent me a security cam picture of what appears to be her mom, Nancy adding that she sadly passed away in December 2013. The photo was captured recently after the security camera detected motion on the mother-in-law's brother's back patio. The photo shows a very solid-looking human figure crossing the patio. The Redditor shares other photos of Nancy when she was alive. You can see some facial similarities in a close-up of the phantom image. Redditor Glitter Vomit responds, this is wild, whatever it is. Honestly, I hope it's a ghost and not a random person. If it was a person creeping around their yard, it's weird that the other cameras didn't catch them. What do you think? Is this just a rando walking their property at night? Or is this a loved one revisiting? Either way, mother-in-law might want to light a candle for Nancy. If you're playing hide-and-seek in the woods, expect to be sought by something sinister. Published by Rexyboy34 in September of 2009, this group was messing around in the woods when they realized they were not alone. The cameraman taking the video scans the ground in the surrounding woods, which look particularly eerie in the afternoon. As the camera pans toward his three friends, someone else is creeping behind them. What the f was that? Behind you. I'm being serious, there was some up there. There was. I'm not, there was some up there. A figure in black appears for a moment over one of their shoulders. The cameraman calls attention to the figure, and they all turn around to look, but by the time they do, the figure has disappeared behind a tree in the distance. The group thinks he's kidding around, but I see the figure too. As they all watch the tree for a moment, the figure reappears and takes a stride toward them. We are left filled with screams and confusion. What is this figure after, and why is he stalking them? Michael Jackson may have made a spirited cameo in YouTuber Kelsey Davies' adventure in the Forest Lawn Cemetery. Accompanied by Omar Gosh TV, Kelsey enters the Los Angeles Cemetery, where the King of Pop was laid to rest in 2009. Drawn to over here, like I just felt like I needed to look on these walls, and all of a sudden, the sign. Margaret. 
which is so great. This is what happened during the team's visit. Is Michael Jack, have you met him? Do you know if Michael Jackson's here? After that, Michael began to make music. Is there someone here with us? Using dousing rods to communicate, Kelsey gets a reading. It's moving a lot. Look. Oh. Did it. Are you the? Yeah. I'm so curious. <laughs> While continuing to speak to Margaret, she confirms that the spirit is not related to Michael. Hey, I got a question for Margaret. Are you related to Michael Jackson? Does that mean no? No. Okay. Kelsey then really starts to become one with Michael. My heart hurts. Oh. Like a heart attack, this person. How did Michael die? I know Heart failure? Heart failure? Cardiac arrest. That was his that was that, that was his cause. And at last, Michael reveals himself. Is this person here, is your name Michael? Can you cross the dowsing rods in my hand for yes and open them for no? They are not alone. It turns out something else is here. Are you Michael Jackson? Oh, <gasps> it is. Does Michael have company? <gasps> Are you a demon? Maybe he's playing out Thriller in the afterlife. This hunter captured the prey of his life while on an expedition. Published by Bigfoot's testimony in January of 2022, the mysterious encounter occurred in a wooded area in Ohio. The footage shows a strange, grassy-looking creature creeping between the trees on a snowy fall day. The man says the creature's hair is gray or black. Zooming in, the figure is barely discernible from its surroundings, like he's camouflaged. Most in the comments confirm that they've seen similar creatures in the forest. Tanner Urza writes, These beings are very spiritual and in tune with nature. Others note that at some points it looks like a barely visible, partially invisible shadow. Is this the Grassman of Ohio, or do we have another legendary creature on our hands? Either way, I think I'll be staying clear of that forest. This intriguing, unidentified flying object sighting was captured on a windy night in Spain in 2009. A full moon is looming overhead. Watch to the left of it. You know, it's kind of funny. You see, like a little shadow over there on the like the left side of the room there. I'm floating around there. You see that? I don't know. I really can't tell. A strange light formation appears. At first, the lights are in disarray. Wait a minute. Look at look at holy yeah. shit, Look at that. Yeah. Look at the shape. Oh my god. Whoa, that is that's cool. You see that? Yeah. But then they form a triangle. Many in the comments are astonished and are wondering if this is for real. What do you think? Are babies more in tune with the spirit world? Published by Susan Payton 1 in October of 2012, this short clip seems to indicate that babies, like animals, really do have a sixth sense. The video shows a dad making faces at his baby, who is laughing and watching him intently. A moment later, an orb flies across the screen. The baby immediately loses interest in her father and watches the orb cross the room.
What is this baby seeing? It appears to me this baby can see something in this room that his parents cannot. A YouTuber named Exploring with Felicity is exploring an abandoned house when her solo paranormal investigation goes very wrong. She thinks she hears spooky and creepy noises upstairs and I do too. Very creepy. Whatever it is, it doesn't sound like a wild animal. I'm just going to try to get used to. She makes it to the second floor and is about to go to the third when a spectral figure passes by. We don't get to see if this was a real ghost sighting or a scary stranger dressed in all black because she is too busy running out of the abandoned house to get a closer look, which to some is all the paranormal evidence needed to conclude this scary video is probably real. Humans aren't the only beings with the apparent ability to teleport. Published by The Buzz in January of 2015, this mysterious video appears to show a canine teleportation. The video, filmed during a street race on an empty motorway in Chile shows a dog suddenly materializing out of nowhere. In the clip, two cars speed down the track as the camera swings after them. Following the race, a dog suddenly appears in their wake, crossing the road. In slow motion, the dog appears out of thin air in the middle of the road somehow avoiding the two cars, neither of which budge at all in their straight shot down the track. Did this dog teleport here as many in the comments seem to believe? Whether or not he did, I think Pog Squatch sums up our sentiment. Scotty needs to be more careful when he beams you down. That was too close for comfort. Would you be able to put up with this unfathomable poltergeist activity? YouTuber Sylvia C has long battled an angry energy wreaking havoc on her home. She experienced yet another encounter in May of this year. It's happening again, guys. Lit. What unresolved issues does this poltergeist have? He seems to often take it out on the kitchen. Commenter Enki2 has some advice for Sylvia in the comments. He writes, Ghosts are like trolls. Don't feed them attention, respect, or most of all, fear. But I gotta say, with paranormal happenings like this happening around your home, it'd be pretty hard to ignore it. Children see creepy, paranormal stuff all of the time, so it should come as no surprise when a parent sees a ghost around a child. A redditor named Roberto3 posted this creepy video of what he suspects could be a supernatural entity caught on his baby monitor late at night. On September 9th of 2020, his motion-activated baby monitor started tracking a tiny, mysterious light that he is unable to explain. The unexplained light is caught on video for over a full minute before disappearing, never to be seen again. Some people say that this is dust while others are 100% sure this is a bug. Someone on Reddit says that here at 13 seconds you can even see the bug land on the camera and run across but I can't. One thing we can agree on, nobody has been able to pinpoint exactly what this light is, so paranormal activity is not out of the question. Roberto3 has never seen anything like this before and has never seen the light return since. If it was something normal, you would think that it would happen at least one other time, but that's not all. He has, on occasion, captured other scary moments on camera. A weird mist, as he calls it. One that seems to take the shape of a hand and reaches out for the ankle of his child. 
It looks like it's reaching over the crib to grab at the child, which is beyond creepy. Then the camera suddenly jerks to the right and tracks movement from something neither you nor I can see. I'm not saying that this is definitely a real ghost sighting. I'm just saying that it's really weird to keep seeing scary things over your child's crib at night that nobody on the internet can properly explain. And if his first instinct was that this could be something paranormal, then it probably is. What should you do when the Ouija board answers you? Published to the r slash ghosts subreddit, Nepa Smash asks viewers their thoughts on this scary video, which was filmed during a Ouija board session in a haunted room of their home. In the clip, the group asks if any spirits would like to communicate. After a moment, there is an alarming bang off screen. Are there any spirits that would like to communicate with us? Two of the boys look up. Right before the bang, however, another mysterious action unfolds, but it's hard to see if you don't know it's there. A paintbrush is thrown across the room. Although it's difficult to tell in the video, this imager photo shows the incident in more detail. Many in the thread think a non-supernatural explanation might be that the guy laying on the floor off to the right could have played a trick on the other somehow, but some note that he doesn't even seem to react. As for the knock, well, the combination of the knock and the projectile does seem uncanny. Setting the rest aside, Redditor Eekeekum draws the right conclusion. Please tell me you closed out of the Ouija board after that. Who knows what might have happened if they didn't. What is moving in the darkness on this foggy road? The YouTuber thinks he's spotted a skinwalker. He gets out of his car to take a closer look, but when he does... Skinwalker or not, you'd better run. Just when you think you are safe, posted to TikTok by Fran Shell. This is one example of security gone wrong. The family installed a security camera to keep an eye on their young child. The father is seen laying him down to sleep, but before he goes, the child tells his dad that he doesn't want him to leave the security camera up. When the father asks why, this is what the child answers with. The camera has apparently been talking to him at night. When the child's mother comes in and asks what the camera is saying, the child says it wants ice cream. He also adds that the voice is a boy. Fox is talking? No. No. This is talking? Yeah. What is it saying? Yeah. Some in the comments remark that they've had the same thing happen to them. It seems experienced hackers have no problem hacking into various home security systems. One TikToker, Joe Spaulding, writes, I used to work for a tech company and we had a guy talk at a big conference. He asked how good our web security was as he hacked into our site live. Is your security camera making you more vulnerable to just such an invasion of privacy? Better use a good password. Scary moments are caught on camera at a beach in Brazil. It's called a water spout and these are the final moments before it's caught on tape, sending a crowd of beachgoers running for their lives. Everyone is safe this time, but that's not always the case. <laughs> Watch 
water spouts are basically tornadoes that move from water to land, or vice versa. Scariest of all is that they are not always associated with a thunderstorm. They can happen at random on a clear day, and you never know where you'll find one, or rather, where one will find you. Sometimes they start out so gently that people are mesmerized by them usually having never seen one before, and will gather around with curiosity. Those same people are soon running for their lives before they know it. Still not sure what's going on. Julio Santiago was on vacation at Cooney Island when a water spout randomly ripped through his path. He's too stunned to run and instead keeps the camera rolling for some scary beach footage. At 23 seconds, an umbrella comes loose and almost takes out one of his friends. She could have gotten taken out, and the only thing that saves her life is a change of direction with the random gust of wind that caused it. Nobody expects for this to happen to them, and even if they did, there's really no way to prepare an event like this. All you can do is pray that you don't get nailed by any flying obstacles or trampled by people who are screaming as they run, and if you happen to be in the center of one when it first begins, there's not much you can do. You're definitely going up in the air and might not come down the same person. One of the most fearsome visions of a shadow person ever caught on camera, this clip will have any skeptic questioning things. Originally published by Ghosts of Carmel, Maine, this scary video was captured by its haunted homeowner. As the homeowner enters a bedroom, a full shadow figure is seen sitting on the bed, outlined by the light from the window. The man panics and steps out of the room for a moment. A split second later when he returns, the figure has vanished. Are you convinced of the existence of shadow figures? I am. Steph's basement is a haunted haven for paranormal activity. Reese didn't truly believe it until now. Published by Steph's Basement 89 in March of 2011, this scary video was captured at around 10 p.m. In the clip, a closet door in the corner of the room suddenly pops open. Then Reese, apparently frightened, pops up and runs out of the room. Steph writes, I don't know if I'm happier that I got the door opening on video. Reese is supposed to be the brave one who claims she doesn't care about the basement. We can imagine she'll probably care now. A sound was heard outside, and this resident went to check it out. What he saw was terrifying. The resident is captured on camera out on his terrace, looking around with a flashlight. While scanning the area several times, something disconcerting shows up on one of the sweeps of the grounds. Watch the right-hand side of the screen. Did you see her? This resident sure did. William Davies has been documenting all of the paranormal activity around his bedroom for quite some time. January 25th, 2014 is when he proves to himself his bedroom is haunted. First with a creepy unexpected EVP caught on tape, followed by this hands-on ghost encounter. Stopped. Whoa, something just grabbed me then. Ooh. Six months later, the paranormal activity has ramped up considerably. He hears noises all around his room quite often. Even during the day, it sounds like someone invisible is walking around.
Objects fall off the shelf in plain sight with William Davies clearly standing a few feet away. He might have done it himself with a string, but honestly, I don't see one. Do you? Oh, this, 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 this is not normal, man. Four months later, he notices his pantry cupboard refuses to stay closed, but only for one night. No, no. And if you listen close, at 2 minutes and 49 seconds, you hear a woman's voice cry out right before the door opens. The more he refuses to believe, the harder the ghost pushes open the door. A fire to warm the darkness isn't always a good thing. Posted on TikTok by official GPT and Instagram by GPT official, this clip was captured during the Ghost Panic Team's live stream. The footage shows a man shouting into the wilderness. At first, you don't know what's going on as he spins around, but after a time, you see a figure perched in a nearby tree. The figure blends in with its surroundings until it lowers its arms. Then you can distinctly see its face, hair, and body as it remains perched on its limb. As the man talks to it, the figure stands up. Then inexplicably, a fire is lit at its feet. The cameraman quickly flees the scene. It's unclear what the figure was and how the fire was lit, but by the cameraman's panicked reaction, I have an idea that this figure was nothing less than evil. Mysterious lights keep showing up outside this man's residence. In Sao Paulo, Brazil, Eduardo Ferreira captured the intriguing recurring lights of potential unidentified flying objects, which he published in both August and November of 2021. The August footage shows a bright white light drifting in the night sky. A close-up shows that it appears to be multicolored and twinkling. The light then flies quickly across the skies, vibrant against the dark clouds above. It drifts overhead until the view is blocked by an adjacent building. The second video, filmed in November, shows a series of bright blue twinkling lights, the same size as the first. They float in front of another adjacent building, just drifting there, but not moving in any pattern or course, as the previous light did. So after seeing both clips, what do you think? To what do these lights belong? Is there a logical explanation? Or are these lights cause for extraterrestrial concern, given the fact that Edward has caught it twice on camera already? I doubt it will be the last time he sees this. Ready to hear one of the most bone-crunching sounds in the world? This was captured at the Australian Reptile Park. The bone crunching noise gives me the chills beyond belief. According to the BBC, saltwater crocodiles take the lives of an estimated 1,000 people per year, many more than sharks do. Would you want to run into one of these monsters? Me neither. Will some horse whisperer please tell us if this equine is living or passed on? Post it to the ghost's subreddit. Regular Joe 500 says a horse passed away in this pasture near his home a few years ago. He also said, there are currently no animals in this pasture. And yet the security footage shows a ghost white horse walking along the plowed pasture, disappearing in the darkness. Regular Joe says that while this horse is white, the horse that passed away was black. A white horse is thought to be the harbinger of misfortune, according to some. Many in the comments suggest it's a living horse and tell Joe to check for hoof prints, but the Redditor counters this by saying that the pastor was empty both when he got home from work and in the morning before he left. Would his neighbor let a horse out to pasture only during the night? Though there is no concrete answer, Sierra Clowder asks the most pertinent question, what kind of unfinished business could a horse possibly have? Now that's a good question.
This strange sighting in the sky was caught on camera flying over the Mexican town of Tepoztlan and it's really been freaking people out. The strange drone-like object changes colors multiple times and I don't think it's colored lights. It looks like the body itself is somehow shifting. At 25 seconds, it briefly becomes red before switching back to a more normal looking color. Those strange lights look too weird to be LED tail lights to me. And if you look closely, shortly before it descends soundlessly behind the trees, it actually turns bright green. A creeping patch of darkness spreads without a sound over an unknown location, possibly someplace near the beaches of Malaysia. And then an underwater creature is caught on camera, doing some scary things that no one can explain. The giant underwater creature appears to be on the verge of breaking the surface at 23 seconds. There's a wave of displaced water that has everyone in the comments further vexed and perplexed. Some say this shimmering effect is a school of fish evading a predator. I would agree with this except not a single one jumps out of the water. The most eerie supernatural explanation offered is a Malaysian phenomenon called Salor Baidar, a name for underwater paranormal activity in which someone is instantly pulled to the bottom of the river by a spirit without warning. Apparently it looks a lot like this which I find scary to think about. The bizarre moment passes but they don't stop filming until more unexplained activity is caught on video. The mysterious shape bubbles to the surface once more at 58 seconds, and here at 1 minute and 3 seconds, I think it briefly breaks through. It could be the back of a whale or something, but it kind of looks like some kind of liquid on top of the water, like an oil spill. The person who actually caught this bizarre sighting says it's a video of a mysterious sea creature, but never does he provide additional backstory. This unexplained video has been stumping the internet since it was first uploaded on June 8, 2018. No update has been provided, and I could find no other similar scary situations caught on tape. Let's put our heads together and figure out once and for all what this unsolved mystery really was. A YouTuber in India named Ghost Live Raja has caught on livestream what he claims is real paranormal evidence while exploring an abandoned building known only as the Ghost House. He burns a candle to invoke the spirit world and soon some pretty creepy moments are caught on livestream that he hasn't been able to explain. The sound is coming from the other side of the blue door, but when they open it, nothing but forest overgrowth is on the other side, or at least that's what I thought until I saw what appears to be a figure, half concealed, looking right at them at 6 minutes and 10 seconds, there for a moment and then mysteriously gone. <laughs> This still image taken at that same time better illustrates what I mean. A strange figure with a black hood covering a bony, smirking face. Outside he finds this strange triangular formation that he calls a ghost warning. I think he might be talking about witchcraft, but I'm not sure what he means so fill me in if you know more. He also comes across this pile of raised earth and rubble with a cross planted at the top. Something tells me this is the source of the activity. Whatever or whoever is buried under this rock pile is probably responsible for haunting the house. Ghosts don't have to speak to be heard. Published by Exploring with Tom in November of 2021, this crew is speaking to spirits when they receive an unexpected response. When Sarah asks the spirits of an abandoned school if they strongly dislike this building, the spirits answer in kind by shoving the camera below. You can see from the actual camera's point of view that it was given a good push by the ghost who apparently didn't like that question. Did Sarah touch a nerve? Or is this voiceless ghost just trying to communicate an answer?
a beautiful home built in 1934 turned ugly when in 2009, the real estate mogul who bought the home took his wife's life, claiming the woman went missing on a hike. A search began for his wife but turned up nothing. A year later, the man put a new addition on his home that raised enough suspicion for police to request a search warrant. They found the wife buried beneath the home. The man was given more than 20 years behind bars, and the house remains abandoned. Published by Dark Exploration Films, this walkthrough of the home is incredibly disturbing. Taking viewers through the grounds and inside the home, the explorer comes upon the hole in which the woman was buried. Let's go into the room that everybody wants to see. So this room was added in 2009. And once the police found out about this construction, they were a little skeptical. Many in the comments are bewildered that anyone could live in the home. They buried their wife in without getting telltale hearted to the point of insanity. Others feel a sense of darkness and foreboding and even a feeling of sadness there. Surely the woman's spirit remains. This individual realized he picked the wrong house to enter. When at 4 a.m. UFC star Anthony Smith was awoken to strange screams in his home. This intruder was screaming at the top of his lungs, and Smith quickly confronted him. Knowing that his wife and three daughters were also in the house, we can see from this ring doorbell footage from another house. This stranger also entered that night that he could very well possibly be having a psychotic episode. That could be one of the only explanations for how this stranger was able to hold his own against this UFC star. Smith later said, I'm by no means the baddest dude on the planet, but he's a regular Joe and I had a hard time dealing with him, and he took everything that I gave him. In the end, skill prevailed and Smith was able to subdue the intruder until the police arrived and took him into custody. I think what's most terrifying about this incident is considering the psychotic state of this stranger. Who knows what he would have been capable of that night if there wasn't a UFC star there to subdue him. Word of warning, always welcome ghouls to the party. If you don't, they will come a-haunting. Published by Oliver Fear, this clip's original source is unknown, but believed to be from TikTok. The video shows a party gathered around a swimming pool. As the camera pans around the pool, capturing all the fun, a sullen figure of a young girl dressed in white is seen standing in the grass to the side. When the camera pans back, the creepy ghost girl is gone. Did she abandon the party? Or is she closer than you think? Alan Kloss likes cars, but beyond that, he also likes exploring abandoned places that are creepy, really creepy. One such exploration takes place at a bridge in Walnut Port, Pennsylvania, where a woman in white fell into the canal and did not come out alive. Notice how at 3 minutes and 37 seconds the camera refuses to focus on the bridge, a sign of the supernatural some would say. They move their ghost hunting equipment to the edge of the water and get a strong paranormal response. The flashlight turns on by itself and they use two different pieces of paranormal equipment to independently verify the presence of something supernatural there with them. This seems like it could be the exact location where she went under. Look, I st all right, stopped back here. And judging by the way his ghost meter goes crazy here at 37 minutes and 34 seconds, I'd say this is either an underground utility wire or the place where she was laid to rest. Red, orange, orange, orange. Is it red? Yeah. Yeah, actually hit red. Orange. Red, 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 wow. red. Oh my. What do you think they've discovered? A mysterious creature was captured in a dark alleyway before launching into the sky, posted to the Paranormal Evidence subreddit by Dr. Muerte. 
The short video shows a thin, elongated figure creeping in the darkness, remaining just out of sight. As the figure becomes more visible, it looks like nothing but a giant head connected to legs without a torso. It then seems to either grow and disappear, or launch upwards into the air, as if teleporting. Is this an extraterrestrial? Or do our eyes deceive us? Cookstown is considered one of the scariest and most haunted places in Ontario, and weird things like this creepy unexplained photograph is one of the many reasons why. On July 30th, 2015, a paranormal investigator took a picture of a store named The Workshop that I think needs a closer look. Take a look at this photo and tell me if you see anything weird. If not, things are about to get creepy for you. Here's a close-up of the same picture to help you see it better. A giant frowning face takes up the top right window of the building. Tell me if you think this is paranormal or a coincidence. It would have been interesting to return the next day and see if the face was still there, but considering this happened years ago, I guess we will never get that opportunity. I reached out to this channel for more info, and they now think it was shadows cast from a warped wooden frame. I'll take their word for it, but I'm not sure how warped wood would cause this extra eerie face to appear. I guess sometimes the explanation to an unsolved thing can be quite bizarre. What's hanging over your shoulder when you're fast asleep? Posted to the oddly terrifying subreddit by Squally Boss, the creepy image shows exactly what's going on behind you. When you turn your back toward the rest of your room at night, as you face the wall, these creeps are getting closer. Will most say it's crazy to put your bed in the middle of the room for exactly this reason? Redditor Lone Wolf YouTube 7 has a strategy. He writes, I'm protected because I cover myself with my blanket. Do you think a blanket will protect you from these demons? Or did this meme just ruin your favorite sleeping position? You might want to avoid this forest because it's apparently home to Brain Hungry Zombies, published by Addy Ant in October of 2021. A man appears completely lost in the thick foliage of a forest at night. As he's walking, a terrifying noise is heard. <sighs> He continues, periodically calling out to whatever awaits him in the dense trees. Hello? Nang? Oi! Nang Shuri! That's when he sees this. Something lying in the dirt crawls out, obviously to feast upon his brains. The man turns around and races out of the forest in fear. At one point, he is knocked to the ground. He looks around, whimpering in the darkness, but doesn't see anything around him. Did the zombie give up, or is he on the verge of an ambush? A YouTuber named The Bearded Biologist created a wildlife channel to help people become more appreciative of nature and not be frightened. Let's see how he himself keeps from getting scared when having an encounter that would frighten 99% of most people, no matter how brave they think they are. Barely visible to the untrained eye and easily mistaken as a piece of driftwood is something that would have people screaming and freaking out, but not him. The biologist spots it and wisely turns the other way at six seconds. The curious snake makes no similar efforts to avoid him. The biologist seems to keep it distanced and distracted by his paddle, but it's not over yet. The fearless snake follows him for another 10 seconds and then lets him go. A 
I, like you, most likely thought this was definitely a chase, but he says this was not a chase so much as curiosity on the snake's behalf. What he means by this is that it could be much faster and easily catch up to him if it wanted to. He's just being politely escorted out of its territory, which is a characteristic of the cottonmouth snake, aka the water moccasin. Some people say this is a harmless water snake, but he says it's not and I can back him up on that one. Not that he needs my help because he already has two degrees in this field. This write-up from the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department says water moccasins are the only snakes that float with their head above the water. They are also venomous and are responsible for 7% of all snake bites in Texas every year. So even though I applaud the bearded biologist and applaud him for trying to make me less afraid of nature, I ended up doing research because of him and freaking myself out twice as bad. Knowing that this venomous snake is showing him mercy to me is just another way of saying he's at the mercy of a big snake. Sometimes the more you know, the more terrifying things get. Published by The Hidden Underbelly 2.0 in December of 2016, this viral event shows a procession of the Catholic faith during a religious parade, but what happens next is certainly mysterious. In the video, a statue of Jesus carrying his cross is held as the parade is paused. Just as music is about to play, the statue's head moves left to right and then lifts upward. Although skeptics say it could just be the wind, believers think it may be a miracle. They also argue that the rest of the figure doesn't move, apart from its robe, but the head movement seems deliberate. They claim the head seems to be lifting toward the sky. What do you think? Is this a miracle? Or is there some other explanation? Something's watching you. Published by Paranormal Instincts in January of 2022, a girl was walking her dog at night in the woods when she captured something observing her amongst the trees. The video clip shows the girl walking along a dirt path in the darkness as her camera pans to the side. A tall, gaunt, pale figure dressed in dark clothes is spotted, standing next to a tree watching her. Although she doesn't seem to see it, her dog senses someone there. He stops and looks in the figure's direction on full alert. She has to urge the dog to come along. Come on. Come on. When she pans the camera back toward the same tree, the figure is no longer there. They continue on their walk, hopefully without any further encounter. But I imagine after watching this video back, there will be no further midnight walks either. These ghosts are watching you. Published by Ghost Adventures of Cornwall in February of 2022, this ghost hunter found exactly what he was looking for. In the video, he is approaching an abandoned house. When a pair of phantom faces appear there, they vanish. When he gets closer to peer inside, he finds nothing that would have looked like a face from outside. Look again. The faces vanish live on camera and appear to be moving when in frame. The uploader writes, I really cannot find a rational explanation for this. There is nothing reflecting outside into the window. Many in the comments write that this was a brilliant capture and think he definitely caught a manifestation. Can you think of any other explanation? Nothing will make you want to skip work more than this next video. Published by Real Ghost in September of 2015, this ghost was captured in an office one night. The video shows a darkened room. As the camera pans around, a semi-transparent robed figure appears in a window to the kitchen. When the camera quickly pans back, the figure is no longer there. Are we dealing with an office ghost straight from Tales of the Crypt? He's definitely not here to do some light paperwork. On June 15th of 2020, a 57-year-old man left his Nashville, Tennessee home in the middle of the night. He never returned. The situation went unresolved until a YouTube channel called Adventures with Purpose went diving in the Cumberland River. To find this, a waterlogged car missing since June, and inside of it, the missing individual whose family members have spent over half a year searching for. 
It's a somber moment as they dredge the car from the bottom of the river, but at least the family can stop worrying and start healing. The technical process is interesting as well. I never thought about it before, but a recovery team appears to have inserted industrial-sized orange flotation devices under the car and inflated them to help dislodge the wheels from the muddy riverbed. This black tarp acts as a net to keep anything from floating out of the vehicle during the removal process. It's good that they want to keep him covered and with dignity at all times. The story behind this event is very sad, but this video serves as a look at the great lengths gone to make sure everyone is afforded a proper ceremony and a final resting place. I commend the channel Adventures with Purpose for using their time, resources, and expertise to provide closure to families with missing loved ones. Without his help, they may have never found any answers. Something's in this water, but what exactly remains? Remains a mystery. Posted to TikTok by PG Stories, this scary video shows that it's all fun and games until the Reaper nips at your toes. In the video, a group on a boat is traveling through a tunnel, screaming and shouting in delight, but then they turn around. A figure in white is chasing them at breakneck speed in the water. Is this, like the video suggests, the ghost of a girl who lost her life in these waters? I don't want to wait around to find out. Sarah Presley of Meet the Presleys apparently has caught a ghost on camera who is trying a little too hard to better know her and her family. It's past midnight when her son Josh turns off the lights. A ghost orb appears in the middle of the video at 2 minutes and 8 seconds, and then again briefly at 2 minutes and 13 seconds. When he crosses the room on his phone, the orb moves away from him. I think this light is from the screen of his phone. His mom, on the other hand, is creeped out beyond belief and pretty worried. Overall, I'm not sure if this video is paranormal or not and need your help to decide. A paranormal investigator named I Am Frankie Speed sets up motion tracking equipment in his house to capture a ghost on tape. After a while, he finds a strange figure creeping up his wall and hugging a mirror. He gets up and shows the mirror. Nothing here looks like a person, at least nothing that I can see, but I think shining the Kinect directly into a mirror might cause it to glitch out. What do you think? The Malaysian district of Sabak Burnam recently had an odd occurrence take over the entire village in November of 2020. That's when residents began to hear this sound. Phantom knocking at odd hours day and night. It's kind of hard to see through the glass, but let me put it to you this way. If I can tell there is a white car parked out front, then I definitely should be able to see the outline of whoever is pounding hard enough to rattle this door. And yet, nothing's there. This video and others like it remain unexplained. If a whole village were faking this, then surely at least one person would have accidentally confessed by now. Months later, nobody has. Based on this paranormal evidence, I'd say something actually appears to be haunting this village. Thank you so much for getting me to 10,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 20,000 subscribers next. Thank you.